guys, so producer Micah here today, and today I'm going to be talking about BandLab. BandLab is an amazing platform, like an amazing DAW, which you can have on your mobile phone, or you could also access the web version. So today I'm going to be talking about the incredible features and opportunities that BandLab offers to musicians worldwide. So quickly, I'm on BandLab, which you could just access by going to www.bandlab.com, or you can also download, you know, the uh, the app on your mobile phone. So be it using iOS or Android, you can easily just go to the Play Store or App Store and download BandLab. So quickly, I'm going to be showing you guys the web version of BandLab. So you could go to www.bandlab.com and create an account. So I've already created an account, producer Michael, which you can also follow me there. So um, once you have registered, once you've opened your account, you've set everything up, we have the option to create. So when you click on this create, we have the song starter and you have the new project. So the new project, if you just want to start making beats, or if you don't have an idea, the song starter using AI to generate ideas. So basically, the AI is going to help you generate some ideas which you can use. So I'm going to be starting there, just going to generate some ideas and see what that's going to give us. So quickly, I'm going to select the song starter and it's going to prepare, it's going to be loading. So once the song starter is open, we have the Let's Get You Inspired. We have acoustic pop, ambient, electronic, hip hop, Latin, lo-fi, pop, retro, R&B, trap. So we have different aspects there. You could also enter your lyrics. So that's where you could enter something like Afrobeat and it's going to try to generate ideas based on Afrobeat. So I'm just going to try the lo-fi and let's see what that's going to generate. So I select the lo-fi and just hit get started. Yeah, so some nice chords. Yeah, so basically I like the drum as an Afrobeat producer. I actually like the drums. I actually like the um, melodies on this. So I'm quickly just going to use this melody and see how we could come up with a vibe. So I'm just going to use in studio. They have other ideas like they have this. They have another. And you can also choose your vibe. You know, it's just going to play around with it. So, but I think I feel this one more. So I'm gonna use in studio. So whichever one you like, you could just quickly hit use in studio and it opens up everything in um band lab studio. So we have the chord progression, we have the bass, and we have the drums. So quickly in band lab, band lab, if you if you've used other DAW, it's very easy to use band lab. Band lab is very, very simple. And if you're just a beginner learning how to produce. Band lab is also very, very easy. So we have our solo. You know, once you see your S, you know that that's your solo. We have our mute. So I'm just going to solo this vibe and hear what that sounds like. Yeah, I like that. We also have another chord. Then we have the bass. Then we have the drums, which I'm actually going to change. So opening up um, Band Lab, we have um, just like every other DAW, we have our metronome. So just to turn on your metronome or turn it off, we have our BPM, which you could adjust. We have our key signature. We have our key. Then we have our, you know, our play, which is also like our stop. You have your record. You have your loop. So if you want to loop a particular session, and we have our time counting in seconds. Then we have our volume, which is like the master volume to adjust or, you know, to increase or reduce the general volume then we have our publish you know if you want to publish it on band lab so that other people could listen to it and they could follow you you could also invite if you have somebody you want to invite to collaborate just hit the invite and it's gonna invite somebody then once you have someone invited you could also chat with the person so band lab is a platform where you could collaborate with any producer on the go, like you guys can be working at the same time and just be, you know, just be chatting in here, you know, like what's up? Just like, you know, chatting on WhatsApp, then it's going to reply also. So then we have the MIDI mappings, we have Band Lab Sound, which I'm also going to talk about. They have lots of sample packs which are royalty free. So be it any genre you're trying to create, Band Lab have. A specific pack for you then you could also judge your lyrics you know if you have any lyrics you could just type it here for future 
purpose or for reference. So trust me, BandLab, I actually love BandLab. And um, the first time I just laid my hand on it, I was able to create a vibe with it, which I'm also going to play for you guys later on. Like the first beat I made on BandLab, I'm going to play it for you guys. Then we have, you know, to increase it or decrease, just like the zoom, your timeline to zoom in or zoom out. Then you could just, you know, you could loop a, a region. If you want that region to just keep playing, you know, you could just loop it. Then you can adjust your your BPM. So just let's let's go to around like a hundred and four. Then we have our effect. So you could add your effect. We have different types of effects, and we are, they also have their presets. So we have um, different effects which we can use, just like every other DAW. Then you could also add tracks. You could record your voice. You have the voice audio. You could record. I would have loved to record, but I'm currently using my mic to record. So I don't think that's going to work. Then we have virtual instrument, you know, where you could bring in your virtual instrument. Then your MIDI, whichever MIDI you have. Let me just turn on my MIDI. Yep, so my MIDI is picked up. I don't know why it took that long. So, you know, we, we have tons of sound. We have drum kits. We have guitars. We have keyboard. Different, different sounds. We have voices. Yeah, so quickly. So, I just, you know, with the sound I picked up there, I'm just going to increase my tempo. And um, let's see. Just take it to around, like, 102. Yeah, so I'm basically going to just delete some of the sounds. So, for this, I'm, you know, we could just delete track and um, let's delete some track let's delete track yep so another thing i love a band lab is their sound so let's go to a band lab band lab sound and you could just easily filter it by typing afro and it brings out the afro packs that are available there and trust me they are all royalty free so you can use them as you want so this afro house then we have afro beat have some afro beats we have afro afro pella yeah i love that melody so we have more more sounds so trust me guys band lab is amazing then we have the loops we have one shot so you could also have your one shot you could also put in your sounds as favorite and i've gone ahead to add some sounds that to me are favorite so to do that um, for example, let's say you have some, let me just turn off. Let, so you, you like this, for example, all you need to do is just go there, click and add to your sound. So it adds everything to kind of a favorite folder for you. So I've added some nice one shots, which I'm going to just use to make something on this beat. So um, quickly, let's just... Let's just make something. Let's just make something with the idea that the AI generated for us, you know. I'm just going to loop this section. So I'm going to bring in my sound. Yeah, I love this sound. So let's just drag this in. And you could also bring in your own sound. So if you, if you have like your favorite sound outside, band lab you could also you know bring that in so for my drums what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna delete this first off what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add on that track and bring in sampler and sampler is a virtual instrument that's gonna make you sample anything so you could sample your voice you could also use it as a drum machine and that's what i'm just gonna do so you could you could record yourself you could import file you could also browse one shot so whichever one you like so quickly i'm just gonna drag this onto there so we have let me just, I think, um, let's just, yeah. So um, let's go back to our sampler. So you could just arrange your drums on it. So it's just, it, for me, I'm going to use it now as a drum machine, but you could sample anything, even your voice. You could record anything and use the sampler for it. Yep. So let's pick some kick. I'm also going to drag this to my kick. Uh, Love this sound too. Let's drop this there. Let's drop this. 
so i have my drums now so all i just need to do is just to record so what i'm gonna do is as this is playing turn on my metronome i'm just gonna record some tapping so all i need to do is hit my record yeah so i, I like that so i'm just gonna we have a, it, it has recorded here for us and this is it down here so if it's not quantized you could just select everything you know just hit your quantize and it's quantize everything based on what you've selected the timing you selected here so so i could just still select everything so you basically you can adjust the notes dragging it make it longer make it shorter move it up move it down move it wherever you want So I, can, I could also just adjust my fixing my kick here. So just select to do that. Just select the pencil note, note add your kick. So this now make it seems like FL Studio for me, you know, because I'm used to FL Studio. So used to the channel rack on FL Studio. So you can go to your sampler now and just adjust some of the notes, bring down the volume, change the tone, you know, just whatever you want to do with it. You can pitch it also. Yeah, so um, that's just how you see you just using this, um, the idea generated by, the idea generated by um, the, sam the song starter, we have a vibe going already, guys. So let me turn on my metronome. So let's check band lab whether we can see some shakers. Let's see whether we can see some shakers. Let me see if I can drag this. So yep, I, I think I think I, I'm liking. So let's go back. So let's go back to our sampler and see what else we can add for my sound because that's just an easy way to you know create some. Yeah, so let me let me let me let me add that piano roll. Yeah, so basically this is just how very very easy trust me guys this is how very easy it is to make beats on band lab and i'm loving band lab like i said i'm also going to play the first beat i was able to create on band lab like the first day i used my mobile version i was able to create that beat so we have our um voice like i said you could record your voice add effects you could add your virtual instrument which i just showed you guys your drum machine your sampler which i just use as my drum machine your guitar so if you have an external guitar i don't have one right now if you have an external guitar you could just connect it to your audio interface and record your guitar and it has tons of guitar effects you can also use your bass you could also record your live bass if you want so another thing i love about it is that they're not just letting you use the sounds they have you could also bring in your if you have some nice one shots some nice favorite packs you have outside band lab you could also import them using this um drop a loop or an audio a midi file in here like i love band lab guys i love band lab yeah 
so guys this is band lab Inigo, and trust me this is a free a free a free plugin a free platform just it's not paid for so what's stopping you from becoming that you know that music producer that you want to become you have all the tools available for you now any pack you need any loop you need you can find them on band lab so quickly like i said i'm also gonna open the file which i made so i'm just gonna save this and you could also publish it you know so that people outside um people who are following you can also see it so let me just open my first project first try i call this first try and um let it load up yeah because it's a it's a big project you see <laughs> So yeah, so you could record your voice, like I said, and add some effects you know add some effect on it so for that let's just go to our fx to have some nice effects you have some nice presets so let me just try one and let's see vocals for vocals you have this let's see what that's gonna give us Yep, so guys, band lab, band lab, band lab, band lab. Like, I'm loving band lab because I can actually just create beats on the go. Like this idea, I actually made it on my phone. And the, the sweet thing about it is that it's all synced. So if you're making a beat on your phone, it's actually available when you come to the web version. So this beat actually made it on my phone. I made it on my phone. The first day I just downloaded the app, I was like, okay, let me just try this out. And it was so easy for me to create beat on the go was very easy so if you have any questions just let me know and i'm sure gonna respond to you guys if you have any questions want me to show you more of what band lab can do just let me know and i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna break it down for you guys so i'm sure you benefited something from this if you do man just give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you're here to subscribe and you know let me know guys if you like content like this and i'm sure gonna be doing more and more stuff on band lab if you want to see more tutorials of me using band lab i'm gonna do that thank you guys for watching and you know peace